Hi to Chaco. There's an altar. There's a barracks here for Mr. Anima. We have Shaddai here, going for an altar, going for crypt, going for ziggurat. I think Anima is a favorite here. Okay. Very beautiful. Where did he play the 1 vs 23 insane computers today on PDR? <laughs> did he win? Do you think they use your stream to snipe each other? No. Because if a player is found out to be sniping or stream cheating at once, he will be banned from all future tournaments. Why would you why would you even uh, do that? You know, why would you risk that? This acolyte goes for a graveyard. By the way, if, do you know if Anima is still in China these days? I don't think so. No. They would have different bots. No, I don't, you don't see the ping right now, but they use different bots. And uh, they'd have higher ping. Should I win this, I think? Stat is 2-2 in maps, 2-1 for anima and matches. I only saw the title of Woody Stream, was watching your stream live. Maybe I'll check it out uh, with stream as a real live. Todd is now auto hosting me for 415 viewers. Thanks for the auto host, uh, Todd. And uh, mercy, of course, mercy. And hello to all of Todd's viewers. A player's forces are under attack. Sonic used map pack a long time ago, was banned, but still playing now. No. What is Death Knight here with skeletons now? It's on the way. We have a Mountain King creeping here, killing some uh, trolls. This troll takes a lot of damage, he's dead. The Mountain King now working on this Ogre Warrior. And he kills the Ogre Warrior, uh, picks up a nice circlet. And now he's going for the next creep camp. Meanwhile, the Death Knight here killing some, uh, some trolls. Gets a nice uh, replenishment potion, of course, Enema. He's going to creep this later here in a moment with militia, but uh, not yet. First, the death knight here killing some more trolls. This trapper here is taking so much damage. This trapper is dead, guys. He's dead. The mountain king now go for this forestal high priest. Killing this forestal high priest is going to be easy peasy. There, he kills it. Want of illusion. He has a footman scouting here. There's the first fiend, of course. And the Death Knight here going for this null assassin. Kills it easy peasy. And now he's going for the next null warden. And kills that one easy peasy. And over here, Mountain King is going to creep over here. Is he going to use um, an illusion to soak up some more damage? I wonder. Yeah, he does use the illusion. I mean, the Death Knight is far away anyway. He's not gonna uh, harass. The trolls are dead. Now it's just the Ogre Magi. The Death Knight uses a potion, a rejuvenation potion, or a replenishment potion. There's the first fiend. He has the second one. He does know there's a Mountain King, so maybe he just doesn't want to harass against the Mountain King because if he gets Stormbolt surrounded, you're in deep shit. It's best of five? Yes, it's a best of five. Now the Mountain King killing some Murlocs. And this Murloc here is, is dead. Gah! What item did he get? I don't know. I, I can't click it. It is... Slippers of Agility. Not really that great on the Mount King. But also Murlocs are so dead. Footman over there. How many fiends do we have right now? Two fiends. Death Knight is just creeping. Killing, uh, killing trolls. Killing ogres. Killing everything. What items did he get? Two circlets! So many circlets for these players. Both heroes, two circlets. Mountain King sells his TP, buys his staff, buys boots. He is going to harass, guys. Let's see if we can kill some Eclides. Of course, Strombolt. 225 damage. Uh, right, yeah. Kills the Eclide in one Strombolt. There's a third fiend. A skeleton goes down. Oh, he finds a skeleton, kills a skeleton. So what is uh, Shaddai doing? Okay, he's coming back. He realizes, hey, someone is over here. Moves the ghoul in position. It's a fiend as well. Realizes, okay, he's not attacking me now. Maybe he should realize that maybe he's over here. 
He's gonna scout this. Should I? It's definitely it opens level three. There's a lich. This is halfway out. Of course, he will get frost armor. And the Dev uh, Mountain King already got the item. Wand of the Wind. Oh, Devlet has to be so careful. Wand of the Wind, Stormbolt. He can die anytime. He does have a TP. Do we have defend? Does he get defend? He's getting more footman. He's not attacking yet. Not here either. Mountain King coming in for. Nothing. Oh, nice bash there on the skeleton. The skeleton wakes up the creeps. He is dead. Someone's pinging over here. There's nothing there. There's no farm there. Death Knight is so close to level 3. That would be so nice. Level three. Oh, Mountain King. Uh, oh, Mountain King in trouble. Death Knight was in trouble as well, but Mountain King is so low on hit points. He's in trouble as well. I'm not sure if he picked his skill yet. But maybe if you think you can uh, Nova the Mountain King and kill him, you don't pick Frost Armor just yet. There is one Ogre. He's dead level 3. Death Knight now. These footmen. Uh oh. Mountain King starving to the footmen with their scroll of regeneration. Uses it and he's on his way. But the staff is now cooldown, so he has to be so careful. But cancelling Slaughterhouse is going to be easy peasy. What is Ogre doing? Hello, Ogre. What were you doing? Okay, he's going for it. I uh, don't think a Zeppelin is available yet, by the way. Not until it turns daytime. The Mountain King, Stormbot on Eclite, but he's slowed. He could be killed here. Well, he has uh, one of the winds to save himself, maybe. No, he doesn't use it. He gets uh, Coil Nova. He is going down for sure. And there he goes. Last Stormbolt here on the Death Knight. Coil here kills a Footman. This Footman here tries to sneak in. So it's a sneaky Footman here. The Lich attacks it. The Skeleton attacks it. This Footman is dead, guys. Ugh. Lich is now level 2. Zeppelins are available, but there's no farm here. Wait, can you build a farm here? I forgot. Is it only on the top? Things only on top, right? Where you can build a farm over here. A player's forces are under attack. Level two Stormbolt, one its echoes and 1.29. I believe not. I don't think so. I believe it was nerfed enough that it doesn't do uh, enough damage to kill an acolyte. I mean, since those 225 now, I believe it was nerfed for what? 25 damage or 15? 15? I think 15. So it does 205 damage next patch. So that doesn't kill Acolytes anymore. Well, uh, one footman this does go down. Second footman does go down. The uh, Mad King is invisible. A player's forces are under attack. I tried to work with Three Arena, but I got banned uh, at sign up. Everyone that uh, signs up for work with Three Arena does get banned. You need to uh, message an admin to get unbanned. Mad King is beautiful. Does 210 damage. Echo has 220 hit points. I see, yeah. This Mount King is gonna kill another Acolyte. There, there, the Acolyte is dead. Mount King does staff out. This expansion, there's only two towers. He's building a third one. He has masonry level one. Is this enough? There's a panda even. Panda. Just too much. It's a no defense. There's no defense, guys. Is this just GG? Hello. There's too many fiends. Oh, one tower. The third tower does go up. Panda has another breath of fire. Does he have statues coming? Of course he has statues coming. There's another breath of fire. Last one for a while. But all the peasants are dead. All the towers are going to die. I feel like this is gonna be it. Uh, unless you can get a shredder or something. Or maybe good item. Book of the Dead. Okay. Okay, maybe you can defend with the Book of the Dead. There's a Griffin Aviary. Kills the ogre. Uh, okay, let's uh, circle it over there. There's a second Griffin aviary. Look at this base. Do you guys see any towers? Do you guys see any peasants? No, nothing. Everything is dead. Just even going for the town hall. Doesn't need destroyers. Doesn't even need uh, meat wagons. Just the panda was enough. He, he smelled weakness. He, he saw the towers. He was like, that's not enough towers. Let me just destroy this. And that's what he did. He just destroyed it. There. Yeah, I might as well kill the shop. Or not. I feel like the shop is pretty important. I mean... But, you know, hitting the main is also important. 
Oh, he's just creeping. Okay. Rope with a magi. It's a, it's a pretty beautiful rope. All the units here are dead. They're definitely level 4 now. Panda level 1. He's level 2. We have a sheep over here. Just uh, He's probably going to eat some grass. The blood mage shows up. Nice Nova here. This footman. Is he going to die? Blood mage. Oh. Stormbolt. Siphon mana. The mountain king takes a lot of damage. He is. He touches the coil. That was nice. And we have an abomination here as well. There's a, a lich now in trouble. He takes a coil as well. The Death Knight is flying. Uh, the Mountain King, hello, can you save your Mountain King? Info Potion maybe? Or is it still on cooldown? Oh, what? He had the Info Potion. Didn't give it to the Mountain King. Other host, please. The hardworking peasants. They were, they built altars, they built barracks, they built farms. And more peasants here are being built here from Mr. Anima. Here over here, we have this Acolyte. Altar, Crypt, Ziggurat. And he's building more uh, Acolytes. Building a sixth acolyte. Move over here. We have more peasants. I have nine milliseconds. Wow. So good. Nine milliseconds. The, I have the best ping of everyone here. Compared to demon. More than ten times as good as ping. More than fifteen times. Like about what? Seventeen or eighteen times as good ping. Wow, Chaco, you're a great professional caster. Streamer with that ping. Mountain King first again here for Anima. And do we get a Dreadlord first? No, Kappa. We get a Death Knight first. We have uh, Crip Graveyard. Beautiful start of the game. Yo, Chaco, can I get a sick host from you when you are done? I could actually come on and cast with you for the finals if you want. I got a day off today. Um... I guess we could do it then. Yeah. We could cast together. Sure. G uh, get on Discord. Are you on Discord? Job's done. Where's my Discord? There it is. I'm online, of course. Okay, just make sure after this game you're uh, you're on Discord and in the channel. And then we can uh, join next game. Hop on now. A player's forces are under attack. Player's forces are under attack. The death that here is uh, over here for for who? For um, should I? Here comes the death knight. Meanwhile, the Mountain King grabbed this already. Claws of Tech picks it up. Nice coil there. Kills a peasant. And the Mountain King has more units to kill. There's a Death Knight he can uh, Storm Bolt. A player's forces are under attack. The coil here on the peasant. He's 9 hit points. Mountain King level 2. Death Knight level 1. Nice ping there. Oh, there's Footman hunting down this uh, Acolyte. Can he get the Acolyte? The Acolyte goes around the gold mine. Footman, uh, beautiful harass here by the footman. He's not going for the expo yet. Is he going for a one base tag, maybe? Or is he fainting? PDR or normal? This is the normal server. The skeleton takes a bit of damage. Oh, the skeleton is so low on hit points. Is he going to die? The skeleton kills it. What the asshole skeleton just killing that, uh, that unit. 50 XP here for the death knight. Here come the footman. Uh, the footman here, they're working on this acolyte. This mountain king is over here. He's taking a bit of damage. Footman killing more acolyte. We have uh, two footmen on this acolyte and two footmen try to kill this acolyte over here, the mountain king. Just running, just making sure he doesn't get killed. Meanwhile, Murlocs are dying. He doesn't want to use a TP here. So he just sends the footman in and just throwing storm balls from afar. Actually, he hasn't thrown a single storm balls yet. There's a coil, saves the acolyte. This acolyte over here, he dies. Mountain king takes a lot of damage. This acolyte, he could stormbolt this acolyte. That's what he does. Oh, but the coil saves it. But the footman might still kill it. And this footman over here is dead. Can the footman get the acolyte? I mean, the mountain king takes some damage here. Oh, does he have more coils? No. Okay, this acolyte dies. This other acolyte over here is probably also dead. This footman gets two kills. He deserves a medal. 
for killing innocent acolytes. This one, maybe he can get that one as well. Footman. Oh, actually, he doesn't need the medal if he's dead. There. It saves us some money here on uh, on medals. Footman going in. Oh, can he get the last acolyte here? Or, yeah, it's not the last one, but... So many acolytes dead. And, but the expansion, there's no expansion. He's stacking to keep. Mount King has staff and boots. Twenty-eight supply here against eighteen. He's gonna heal up at the healing fountain. Death Knight with some ghouls. He has a graveyard. A player's forces are under attack. Hasn't built a fiend. De uh, Mad King, look at him drinking all this moon uh, not moon juice. Fountain juice. Drink all the fountain juice. The footmen coming uh, in for another round. Where are they? With five footmen. They do have... Do they have defend? I'm not sure. The Murlocs are dead. Or the Gnolls, I, I should say. Mountain King, is he level 3? No, but almost. If he kills these Murlocs, level 3. Level 2 Stormbolt. These Acolytes in trouble, guys. Death Knight is creeping over here. Kills a little Ogre Magi. Oh no, he lost a ghoul. Lost two ghouls. Hello. Hello, Shaddai. Welcome to losing two ghouls to creeps. There, he kills another uh, unit. That has a nice slippers of agility. Skeleton coming in. He takes some damage here from the arcane tower. Here comes the mountain king again. Level two storm. Did he kill one already? Yeah. Look at this this body. That's a dead acolyte. Next storm bolt. What's he gonna hit with the next one? Oh. Arr. There goes another acolyte. Oh, nice bash there on the ghoul. But the ghoul gets away. Here come the footman now. For more acolyte killing. Death knight is on his way back. Meanwhile, we have a Blood Mage and Griffin Aviary going up. Mount King, another Stormbolt, another Acolyte is so dead. This Acolyte is getting away. The Death Knight has mana for one coil only. And that one coil, although there's no more Stormbolt, the one coil is probably going to save an Acolyte. This one maybe? No. This one dies. Is he dead? There goes the Acolyte. This one is uh, being hunted down. The Mount King will get out. He has boots. Hello. He also uh, stopped with still on cooldown. This Footman does retreat. The Mount King. Attacks a ghoul. Stormbolt on the ghoul. Footman trying to kill this acolyte. Oh! Mountain King gets Coil Nova. There's a healing, uh, Claire, healing, how do you call it? Scroll, regeneration scroll. Griffin Aviary is going up. We have a beautiful supply here 33 for Anima and only 18 for Shaddai. Oh, if he loses ghoul. No, he survives. Easy survival there by the ghoul. Double grave, Griffin Aviary. Of course for Dragon Hawks. I mean, there's no fiends. Dragon Hawks are going to be pretty powerful. Oh, but maybe he can do a creep jack. Let's see. The Death Knight gets the info potion. Mountain King. Stormbolt on the Lich. He does have uh, Siphon Man as well here. He steals the mana of the Death Knight. Uses his last coil. The Lich next Stormbolt is going to do so much damage to the Lich. And uh, he could give him the info potion. Try to save him. Oh, the, I mean, he doesn't. Okay. There's more Stormbolt. This Lich is probably going to die to the next Stormbolt. And uh, maybe he could steal some mana. Okay, never mind. Lich is dead. GG. Bye, Shaddai. I was just going to say that this is a good map for Mountain King because you can get level 3 really easily. And you can get those mercenaries, which will allow you. Because the thing about going Mountain King is essentially you don't have water elementals to attack air units when they do a push so undead have more options they can either push with gargoyles they can do like a tier two push with gargoyles or they do the fast destros like they do against dark mage as well but uh with those merc camps you can hire those axe throwers which kind of buy you enough time to get the guard towers up so this is a solid mountain king level so i'm i'm hoping we see some mountain king yeah uh i assume we're gonna see the mountain king i mean if he plays mountain king on the other maps He's probably gonna do Mountain King on this map as well. Especially because the other right. maps aren't I, that uh, Mountain King favorite. I got 100 favorite. Schmeckles. 100 Schmeckles saying he goes Mountain King. How much is yes! this worth? Oh, you got it. He's Mountain King. Okay. Give Mountain. me those Schmeckles. You get another 100 Schmeckles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, All right. He will get some Footman as well, of course. And well, here we see uh, the standard build here for uh, 
Force to die, death knight, some ghouls into some late fiends. Beautiful. Let's see if something happens again where he decides to not go for the expansion and harass. Like last game. I mean... No, if you're doing Mountain King on this map, you go for an expansion 100% of the time. I would put a thousand schmeckles on the fact that he's going to fast expand. One thousand schmeckles. One thousand schmeckles? I don't yes. think I have that many schmeckles in my bank account. <laughs> so, quick, someone donate a thousand schmeckles to Chaco so that he can pay me. Oh, there's a pause. Beautiful pause here by, uh, by Shaddai. I think that was a tactical pause. What do you think he's thinking about? About oh, the lag? No. Where is this guy from? 610 ping. He's from uh, Russia somewhere. Ooh, look at that. 610? That's ter that's terrible. Oh, but now oh, it's he down did to have 54. A spike. 54 ping now. He did have a spike. That's really frustrating to play on a host that's spiking for you. I feel him on that one. Well, let's see how long they're going to wait. He has uh, 38 now. Wow, that's so low. So, uh, not as low as me, though. Look at my ping. Are you jealous of my yeah, ping, Lado? Lado with you are, are you hosting this game? <laughs> are you hosting this game? I'm not hosting the game. Is your computer secretly the server? Are you... No, it's all pure skill. It's because I'm a <laughs> professional commentator. Here come the militia. Oh, wow. The unpause. He's going for the mercenary first, of course, so he can buy a first level shadow priest. And then later, of course, a berserker. This acolyte, he dies to the creeps. No XP given here to the mountain king. Zero, zero XP. This peasant here takes a lot of damage. This one as well. Oh, this peasant. Don't lose your peasant. He doesn't. Good. Oh, did you guys... He, he did that really well. So he... Uh, what he's doing is he's force attacking the units that are being attacked to s transfer the aggro to a different unit. So that those, pe so the peasants can stay alive, the militia can stay alive. Yeah, but the creeps didn't follow his uh, his advice, and uh, they did kill one of the peasants. So, they did uh, get one of them. Yeah, it's pretty sad. I'm pretty sad right now. That's okay. That's an acceptable loss. It's interesting. Uh, DCP, he, he's not going straight after him. He's not trying to steal creeps. He's doing this shot first. That's kind of interesting. But that's how he's been playing against the Monty first the last few games he's just been creeping and uh, i feel like that's why he saw an opportunity last game uh anima saw an opportunity last game to go straight for his base and and just storm the acolytes to death instead of going for this expansion so uh we'll see how that goes this game he says the footman in already i like this little footman scout here this is a good scout because you really don't need an extra footman, let's be honest, you don't need it. So why not use it in a different way? A town is under there sea. is the Berserker. Well, the footman is killing this acolyte, at least trying to, but there's a fiend defending. And the footman, he that, gave that's up. Actually, that's exactly what he wanted to see. He wanted to see that fiend timing. So he saw it, and then he's getting out of there. Meanwhile, Anima going to creep his uh, expansion. But well, the Mountain King is going to buy stuff maybe he doesn't have to buy boots he got he, boots from the creeps so that's uh saved him 250 gold he doesn't buy anything hello did the uh, death yeah really that buy is it? an amazing pickup that's no he didn't buy it no he got that from the creeps so, and that's an amazing pickup because he has to buy those boots if he's not if he doesn't get the boots from the creep so that's 250 gold is massive that's a great item for him i was talking about oh. the staff the staff was bought by the death knight and he does staff out uh, that's what the I always like to see. Wants to buy. He does get a clause of attack. Someone goes staff. When someone goes staff, I always pray for the Mountain King to get a bolt the, or a bash when he's staffing. I think it's so funny when they get bashed while they're staffing. I mean, it's about 50%, right? You get about two attacks in, it's 25% each attack, so it's a 50 50. Correct. Yep, correct. Two fiends. Oh, by the way, go. Feel free to transfer a thousand schmuckles when you get an opportunity. Uh, sure, sure. Maybe I can do it during the game. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 this DK is getting hurt. Uh, with the oh, foot that block, he will have to TP oh or he God. dies. This game, he... this game is already going to be oh, over. Actually... Watch this. Oh, there's oh, a TP. 
He has he has enough mana for another bolt. He's just gonna stay here. Here he goes. Oh. In three, two, one. Oh, he bought the health potion. Okay, okay. Look, did you see the faint? He was about to. Uh, he fainted a uh, storm bolt throw, yeah. but he, then he canceled it to uh, force the healing potion. In the end, he did throw the. That's storm really bolt good. Anyway. So. He basically got 500 gold out of the undead player, which is a ton of gold early on in this game. 350 for the TP and 150 for the health potion. Yeah, and he, and this death knight is still low, so he can maybe still, if he can get uh, some more mana, throw some more stormwolves later at him. Mountain King here, what does he buy here? Illusions? Did he just buy? Yeah, he just bought those illusions. He did. He did just buy some illusions. All right. You're scouting illusion number one, the Mount King. Uh, the slaughterhouse is not up yet. With his illusion, maybe he can find the uh, scout for the timing of the slaughterhouse and cancel it with his footman, with his berserker, with his trolls. Well, well, should oh, I he's gonna him? see it go up. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you see it? He did. He's he's sh yeah, he saw it at the last second. Well, here he comes. He could buy the stuff now with the Mountain King. It should be available already. Oh, but he finds uh, he finds Shaddai creeping. Tries to surround the uh, fiend. Doesn't get it, but the other fiend is ensnared. So he's going for that one. The force of Shadow Priest is already dead, but here comes the Mountain King. How many clarities? Do oh, he has another clarity on him too. So we're going to see about three or four storm bolts, which means three or four dead fiends. Or he's just going for the DK. The DK here, let's be honest, the game is over. Right, the DK here doesn't have oh. TP anymore. Lich dies as well. The Fiend died, the Death Knight died. GG, can play, GG, easy game for Anima. Okay, so if I'm at uh, 151, I kind of just want the ping improvement by two, just to get just under 50, just go to 149. That should be uh, perfect. Kappa. <laughs> Kappa Pride. <laughs> Okay, we have uh, in oh, the hey, bottom hey. left. I just beat, I beat you in the ping race. On Wait, that what? One. Wait, yes. what? What? Ameri American internet better than uh, Netherlands internet confirmed. What the fuck is this? We need to rehost. I, can, <laughs> I cannot commentate with 167 ping. Hello, demon 523. What the fuck? That's even higher. Anima is 12 ping ball. Uh, Shaddai is 330. Well, good luck, Shaddai. He needs it. I need it. Good luck to me. Uh, Lado Blanco has <laughs> mana too. and hit point information. Is it po possible to move it somewhere else? Uh, you can just make it small. Make it smaller and then put it all over my picture if you want. There. Or, or put yeah, put it put it like on top of. There's like nothing there where that where you, there's the gray bricks or whatever. You see what I'm talking about? It's like the outline of the thing. Or there, that's good too. I mean, on uh, on this server, a Warcraft Three Arena, I could maybe put it under my my webcam, but then your webcam would be super small. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. I think that's fine. I think. I'm... All right, so. Um, between his legs, someone said, but put it between his legs. Guys, I don't want anything between my legs, please. We do have I, a I niche first, by the way. Whoa, interesting. Very, very, I would not have bet Schmeckles on that one. Well, are you gonna bet Schmeckles on the first armor first? Uh, or I don't know, I get you. You could go frost armor first against this. So seeing see, seeing someone go lich first when you see this, it means he's totally frustrated. By the way, if yeah. if he's going lich first, he's completely frustrated and he's not confident either. So what I will do is I'll bet Schmeckles on Anima winning this game just based off of frustration and uh, and annoyance that that the D DCP is experiencing. Well, he does okay. have 64 uh, milliseconds again, but he does get storm bolted. Does he have false armor? He does have false armor. The ghouls here, uh, they kill the acolyte, uh, the militia, I mean. And he does get out of the surround, but there's another storm bolt. Can he re-surround this lich? I think he can. The lich is in deep shit. Uh, and he will. He doesn't have a TP. He's just dead. This is GG, guys. I l hope you guys love the finals. I hope you guys love Lado. Because this was the last game, of course. Because Anima is just gonna... What the fuck? Own 
Uh, everything that's left of should die. Should die. Maybe he needs new internet. You have anything to say? That, that's too bad. That's a frustrating end. Just see, honestly, seeing him go lich, that kind of means he gave up. You, you can't, you can't effectively do anything with lich. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the second he went lich, it shows that he, he's kind of, he's mentally giving up. Well, he's still in the game. Maybe, maybe something changed. Maybe somewhere deep in his heart, he realizes, you know what? I'm not going to throw away this game this easily. Let me get more, some more ghouls. Let me get maybe uh, boots, maybe stop, maybe both. And let me still win this game because I am Shaddai and people will remember me. People will remember me thousands of years from now. They will remember me as Shaddai, the amazing undead player that beat uh, Anima. That came back uh, against Anima in the best of five where, where I had this huge ping. And now he starts his comeback by killing the Cobalt. This game is not over yet. I like I like that uh, I like that thought process a lot, Chaco. I like it a lot. Yeah, well, it's Shadai that's thinking like this. Meanwhile, the Mountain King, you know, Anima doesn't want this to happen. Anima now, of course, he can feel the fear. He can feel the the aura that uh, Shadai just, you know, Shadai's comeback aura. He can feel it, and now he's he's afraid. The Mountain King is level three though, and uh, he has illusions, and you know, he's he's he does his best. He's panicking a little bit. He kills the skeleton. Is so you he see, gonna be... uh, So you see, okay. Anima started his tech. He actually he didn't creep the. Well, uh, it was kind of obvious when he didn't go to creep the expo for level three that he wasn't going to expo. But it's very interesting. Usually, when you go MK first, you go MK first. So that the intention is you can expo. Like that's why you do it. So it's interesting to see an MK and not an expo. Well, maybe the. The play for Mountain King first against Lich is to just don't go Expo. Of course, uh, against a Lich, you just you can just go in and kill Acolytes a lot easier. There's no coil. There's just some Frost armor, and uh, uh, also also still sitting at Necropolis and massing goals. He still he hasn't tacked. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. And there's an illusion Mountain King hunting down this ghoul, but he does no damage, so he, he doesn't kill the ghoul at all. The real Mountain King is over here. He's playing with the Lich. Look at the both have boots. So that's beautiful. Stormble there on the Lich and Nova on the Mountain King. Can he uh, kill the Mountain King? Mountain King does stop out. He should be fine. And he's going to buy some more items and then heal up. Beautiful. The player's forces are under attack. I mean, all he really needs to do... You, the idea of Mountain King is you just get level 3 as fast as you can. And then you keep that mana count up as much as you can. As long as you have storm bolts, you're okay with the level three mountain king. Well, he he didn't use the clarity there. So un undead did start his tech, so he's he's about ten percent done with his tech right now. And a ghoul dies to the storm bolt. Now he uses the clarity. He will have another storm bolt soon, and then probably a third. Uh, yeah, another one after that pretty soon. And what is he gonna kill? More footmen? More ghouls? I mean. Ghouls or liches. This lich is hiding in his base. He should be careful because even with the staff, if he gets storm bolted, he is going to die. That is very true. He's sitting in the back of his base. Some ghouls uh, find the footman. Is he going to storm bolt some ghouls? He has two two storm bolts available. And, uh, yes, Anima does have more footmen than ghouls, and he has a superior hero. He is looking to take this fight. He wants to pick off as many of these ghouls as he can. Well, first armor and the ghoul. He tried to surround the ghoul, but he couldn't. The Mountain King kills the ghoul with the boots of speed. That's beautiful. Uh, Lumber Mill is going up. Is he uh, going for towers, Kappa? Uh, footman here. Killing speaking a, of killing a ghoul. S speaking of surrounding ghouls, have you tried to surround ghouls on the new PTR yet? No. I haven't uh, logged it, in on PTR. It is hard. Ghoul, they are tiny. They are so small. It's like trying to surround a Zergling in StarCraft 2. Oh, imagine uh, trying to surround the Hex, the hex unit. That's going to be difficult. Yeah, exactly. It's very oh, similar. Very surround similar the lich. to surrounding a Hex. The Lich can't stop out. There's no Mountain King nearby, so he does survive. 34 hit points, but the Footman might just still be able to kill him. 
Here they come, here come the footman. There's no secondary hero to save the lich. Oh, but he can get to the shop, easy peasy, never mind. Although he is, You'll yeah, see he's tier 2 now, he can buy a healing potion. Here comes the Mountain King with a flank attack and a blood mage. Over. He, he's doing a good job of controlling the frost tower. You'll see he, he keeps putting the frost tower on the front footman, which is effectively slows down all of the footmen. But I don't think it's going to matter as this hammer is going to come hit him in the face. Oh, he did transfer the frost. Oh, he did such a good job. So Mountain King accidentally ran into range of the... Oh my god, he, he ran back by accident. So the Mountain King ran into range of the, of the ice tower for one hit, and he did a great job of transferring the, the Frost Tower to the Mountain King. It slowed him down. Lich could have kept running, but he I think he accidentally misclicked back, which put him in range of the hammer, and then he took a hammer to the face, which ended up being the demise of the Lich. Forces are under attack. Well, he'll be back in uh, 72 seconds. He has double clips, by the way, going gargoyles now. Well, uh, what do we have here for Mr. Anami? Double Griffin Aviary. He's going for Dragonhawk. Riders, who's gonna win this fight? One base against one base. Dragonhawk riders against the, the gargoyles. The Dragonhawk riders should win, considering if Lich is level three, then Lich level three can turn the tides on this. But I don't need. Yeah, Lich is still sitting at level two, and we're still sitting at solo hero two. I think. Uh, I think the D Hawks will win this. Well, maybe we'll see a Dark Ranger second to help the gargoyles out a little bit. With the silence, there's a slaughterhouse. And what's this? Oh, he has two gargoyles already. There's no dragons on this map, so he doesn't get any advantage of uh, creeping a bit faster with the gargoyles. Mubo see uh, Anima creeping his expansion. Is he going to expand? He loses a footman to creeps. What a noob, Kappa. And uh, another militia um, takes a bit of damage. He survives. That's beautiful. Because These no footmen killed. already really survive. They they already serve their purpose. I don't think he's worried about losing footmen. He, because he's going to be sitting at fifty food. He's going to sit. At, he's going to try and sit at fifty food and just make as many dehawks as he can at fifty food. I don't think he's too worried about the footmen anymore. Well, Pendens here building this expansion now. I mean, the footmen. Uh, did hit level They three. are You'll important see. to buy more time for that expansion, of course. But well, he doesn't have defense yet. Lich did get level three, so uh, you'll see that Nova does do a ton of damage to these Dehawks. It'll it helps a ton, especially the the way the micro works is when those Dehawks are traveling, and if you get a good Nova off, you can slow, you know, all six or all eight Dehawks that he has, and then the idea is you get your your Gargs in there and you kill them as they're getting shackled. There you have it oh, right we now. We're gonna see it right now. Yep. One Gargoyle, uh, one Dragon Hawk is dead. The second one gets away. We have a Death Knight, by the way, here for uh, Shaddai. And, oh, nice Banish. Love Ooh. this Banish here. You see there's a lot Very against sexy Orc. Play. Dragon Hawks against Orc Very with uh, Banish. Still some mana there for of the Lich. And the one Gargoyle is dead, but now the Dragon Hawk in trouble. Does he have another Banish? He has plenty of mana, actually, for more Banishes. But the Dragon Hawk just flies away. Stormbolt on the Lich and surround, kinda. Uh, not really. <laughs> there's a Coil, the Lich is still alive. Uh, Blood Mage is being focused, so he retreats. And can he get the Lich? He's trying, but the coils and the frost armor and the shitty surrounds just keep the Lich alive. Finally, he surrounds it, but his footman is going to die. <laughs> he has, does he have more coils? Oh, he's out of coils, but there's still one Stormbolt. Lich might finally die, but his footman is going to die first. Does, is this Stormbolt enough? Is it? Yes, it is. Easy peasy. Level 4 Mountain King. Ghouls are harassing the expansion, though, of Anima, and a lot of peasants did go down. And Blood Mage and the Mountain King now against the Death Knight in the center. Cargo's harassing the main, killing acolytes over there, uh, peasants over there. We'll have two more Dragon Hawks show up in a moment. The Ghoul's killing the tower here at the expansion. So even though he lost the Lich, he's doing all right. He is doing. I'm. I'm kind of impressed. He's. He's turned this around a little bit with the with the gargoyles. This is. Um. This is turning out to be a more interesting game than I initially expected. Alright, five dragon hawks right now. He's building a next another one. Going to six. He is up in supply. T 42 against only uh, 35 here for Shaddai. Some of these gargoyles for two hit points only. And uh, the lich. Oh, he's, he's he's not rebuilding the lich. He is. It doesn't look like it. Do you think he forgot, or is he going to play it on tavern? I'm not sure. It's. 
I feel like you forgot. The Lich was was level three. Level three. It was Big level three. Yep. Seven seconds. Uh, it seems like right now he's just going for the tavern, obviously. Uh, but I feel like initially he forgot. And now that you realize he forgot, he's going to the tavern and he buys the lich back. And the lich is beautiful. Okay, so this, so this big fight, this is going to be a deciding fight right here. Well, the 13 supply difference. All the uh, all the gargoyles do get wet. We have two gargoyles in the air still attacking. The lich get banished, storm bolted, he's dead. And the death knight level 2, he has coils. Oh, he lets go of the gargoyles though. And the Dragonhawks now fleeing. The statue here in trouble. He goes down. The gargoyles let the Dragonhawks go. But there's still one Dragonhawk over here. And he gets banished. No mana for coil, so the gargoyle will survive. Uh, I mean, the Dragonhawk survives. The gargoyle does die. The Death Knight is in trouble. There's another Stormbolt available soon. And this Death Knight is also dead, guys. Ah. Oh my goodness. This is so brutal. Oh. Uh. GG. I feel for the undead player there. He tried. I I commend the fact that he tried. It kind of looked like, like I mentioned at the beginning, kind of looked like he gave up with the Lich first thing. But uh, he did. He gave his best effort. Uh, the the Stormbolt Banish combo turned out to be just a little bit too strong for him. Yeah, I mean, he, he I felt the spirit. I felt him trying to become the, the comeback master of 2018. Going with the gargoyles, and for a second it looked good for him if he uh, could have saved the lich maybe with some more info potions, but uh, he couldn't in the end, and uh, he lost. And GG and three one for Anima. Anima now earns a lot of money, by the way, a lot of money. Let's see how much money Anima earns here. A nice eighty-eight dollars for first prize and forty-four dollars here for second prize for Shaddai.